But while we're talking about storms, you know, traditionally storm surge has been the most deadly part of a hurricane in uh, most situations. In today's Hurricanes Fast Facts, we take a look at why. Storm surge happens when strong winds of a hurricane blow over the ocean or Gulf water, literally forcing the water to pile up as it approaches the coast. That can cause the water level to build anywhere from a foot to well over 20 feet above normal levels. But wind speed isn't the only factor in determining the potential surge effect. The storm size, intensity, shape, speed, and angle of approach all matter, along with the coast and slope of the ocean floor. And remember this, the category ranking of a storm doesn't always correlate to the storm surge threat. Weaker category one or two storms have been known to produce higher surges than their stronger counterparts. So it's important to listen for and to understand those storm surge warnings so you can react early and quickly to keep you and your family safe. Now going into that, I mentioned at the beginning that, you know, traditionally storm surge has been the biggest you know, life taker with these systems. Keep in mind, we've had improvements in technology, so we see the storms coming. It used to be folks didn't know that the surge was here yeah. until it was upon them. Now there's time. If folks listen to evacuations, you can get off the coast and get to safety. Very important. Don't assume, oh, it's a category one or it's not a big deal. The storm surges we just told you can be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Good to keep in mind as we continue to go through hurricane season. Craig, Absolutely. thanks.